hot. Queen handcuffs Harry and Meghan to strip their titles and banish them before ending her reign. A palace source says the Queen is giving out her final orders. Is Queen Elizabeth II taking action against Prince Harry and Meghan Markle? One tabloid says that one of her final acts as Queen is to take care of the Sussex situation. Here's what we know about Her Majesty's deathbed declarations. Queen Elizabeth handcuffs Prince Harry and Meghan Markle? The latest edition of the National Enquirer reports Queen Elizabeth is tying up loose ends before her reign comes to an end. Apparently, the Queen knows that she's in her final days and has no intention of letting Prince Harry and Meghan Markle get away scot-free. In fact, the Queen has seen to it that the Sussexes will never step foot on palace grounds again. Her Majesty is furious the Sussexes have used their kids as pawns in their revenge crusade against the royal family, an insider dishes. She's horrified henpecked Harry give in to Meghan's ultimatum, it's me or them, before they sensationally quit royal duties and move to California in 2020. Her Majesty has had enough. Harry and his family are banished forever, along with the titles they need for Hollywood success. Meanwhile, according to a poll, Many are glad the Sussexes abandoned royal life, but many insist their titles should be abandoned too. In a poll of 1498express.co.uk readers, held from January 3rd to 4, 52% of voters said Meghan and Harry were right to give up as senior working royals. One reader nicknamed Yorkshire Lass commented, Yes, it was the right decision to leave. They have caused upset since leaving but it would have been worse had they stayed for a number of reasons. The reader claimed Meghan would never have adapted to royal life and would have expected everything to be changed to suit her. Another reader, Grey Schooner Rotney, said the couple did the right thing and left the royal family and this country. Addressing her comments to Meghan, she added, Don't even think of coming back near our gracious queen and royal family ever again. Enjoy your new life newfound freedom, and newfound money in your chosen country. Good luck. On the other hand, 48% of voters said the Sussexes should not have departed the firm. Many voters said the pair should not have left because of the upset the decision may have inflicted on the Queen. Despite voters being divided on whether the Sussexes should have given up their royal duties, one thing was clear. An overwhelming number of royal fans believe the Sussexes should be forced to give up their royal titles as Duke and Duchess. An express.co.uk voter nicknamed Old Rayo said, Hand in your titles and enjoy your private life in LA. Don't bother popping back, you won't be missed. One reader commented, They left, the firm should take away all perks and titles. Once you have left a business you hand in keys and passes. While another remarked, it's good they are out, but they should have been fully sacked, all titles taken away, and not a penny from the UK. In the last two years the couple have made the most of their freedom and signed a number of lucrative contracts with streaming giants Spotify and Netflix, which are thought to be worth £100 million. But the Sussexes aren't the only ones facing Her Majesty's wrath. Apparently, Prince Andrew is banned from attending royal events following his involvement in the Jeffrey Epstein scandal. She's decreed her disgraced son will receive $5 million a year, tax-free, for life and he doesn't have to attend another royal engagement, ever. The source exclaims. And Prince Charles is also facing the consequences of his actions. Apparently, the Prince of Wales has been given the Queen's blessing to rule until his 80th birthday but will be forced to step down promptly after. He's been king in waiting for almost seven decades and she feels he deserves the chance to wear the crown. But not for long, the tipster muses.